this day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. Welcome as we celebrate Easter Monday, the second day of the Easter octave. In the scriptures at the Eucharist, every day this week, we have different aspects of the resurrection appearances of Jesus. And it's very interesting today and so many of the other days, the women uh, who are part of Jesus's company are very central to the role. And in today's gospel, we see the women sharing are relaying the good news of the risen Lord. There is a, an interesting poem by Gerard Manley Hopkins, simply called Easter, one of his early poems written in the early 1860s, and it reflects on the heart of Easter, and it runs as follows. Break the box and shed the nard, stop not now to count the cost, hither bring pearl, opal, sard, wreck not what the poor have lost, upon Christ throw all away. Know ye this is Easter day. Build his church and deck his shrine, empty though it be on earth. Ye have kept your choicest wine, let it flow for heavenly mirth. Pluck the harp and breathe the horn, know ye not tis Easter morn. Let enjoy this Easter day, seek God's house in happy throng. Crowded let his table be, mingle praises, prayer and song, singing to the Trinity. Henceforth let your souls always make each morn an Easter day. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Amen.